Have you ever seen the movie Saw? The movie where a puppet puts all kinds of people to the test? Once I had an experience where I had a theory about Pac-Man, but my theory came true when I played a hack of Pac-Man that was Saw-based. You're probably already interested, so I'll tell you now. I had once watched the movie Saw the final chapter, and saw the part where this guy plays the trap on this woman's head. There was no key, and it turned out that this was a trap to open your mouth so wide that you'll die. I saw her die, and I immediately turned the TV off. I couldn't handle it anymore. So I got on my computer and opened a normal game of Pac-Man. I was playing this amazing game, and one of the ghosts caught me. Pac-Man's mouth opened up so much that he disappeared. I then remembered the saw clip and thought up a theory. What if the whole game was just Pac-Man's saw trap? What if Jigsaw put the trap on him while you were inserting a coin? What if when he got hit by a ghost, the trap would activate and his mouth would open so much he would die? I was thinking that for the rest of the day. I was once browsing the deep web when I found a webpage called Packsaw. I clicked on the website and it took me to a download link. I downloaded the file and my computer shut off. I pressed the power button and it wouldn't turn on. Turns out that it was a virus only effective on Windows 7 computers. I hopped on my Surface Book and downloaded that same file. I opened it in MAME and it started normally, with a normal arcade machine test. You know, code running down the screen, then some sprites, then PP, then squares, and yeah. The title screen just had a black background with Paxaw on the top and Insert Coin on the bottom. I pressed 1, which was my normal button for inserting a coin, and it automatically went to the game. No press start or anything usual. The game was looked normal, with the ghosts being perfectly normal, unlike SOME GAMES <laughs> Pac-Man EXE <laughs> The only difference was Pac-Man. His sprite looked grey on the top of his head, as well as the top and bottom of his mouth. Kind of like that one saw trap. Anyway, I decided to go on with it. Also, there was a timer at the top of the screen, which was not there when I played it in the 80s. I didn't care about that. The first audio difference I heard was that, instead of the normal nostalgic tune, there was a voice. Hello, I'd like to play a game. You have five minutes to clear the space. When the time runs out, this trap will activate and your mouth will open so much that you will die. It will also activate if you get hit by one of the obstacles. Let's call them ghosts. Let the game be. The first thing I noticed after that was that the timer at the top was set to 5 minutes. The game then started. I started at the bottom half of the stage, and I got it down pretty well. When I was almost done, there were 10 more dots and 10 more seconds. I almost made it, but the timer went to zero. Pac-Man then did a death animation, but it wasn't really the normal death animation. He did the first half of his death animation really fast, then stopped. I heard a stabbing sound and random stuff, I believe it was gore stuff, came out of Pac-Man's mouth. Then I realized I had two more lives. This kept happening until my last life. I finished the maze before the time ran out and the trap fell off of Pac-Man. He was back to his regular sprite. He looked at the trap and waited. The trap opened by itself but didn't affect Pac-Man. A clearing opened and Pac-Man went through it. I was in the neighborhood. Pac-Man walked to his house. I think it was the one from Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures on the Genesis. He grabbed a knife and stabbed himself. He fell to the ground. Game over were the words above him. I couldn't take it anymore. I took out the battery and went to bed. It was the day after I played that gruesome hack. I went to my computer, put in the battery, and played Pac-Man again. I started the game and there was no Pac-Man. I then heard a voice. My computer then shut off. Now I never use that laptop. I bought a new Surface Book, never play any arcade hacks on it, never will. I actually worry about turning on my old Surface Book now, as I always hear a voice when I do.